With Poland's restored independence on November 11, 1918 from the German, Austro-Hungarian, and Russian empires, Poland had many hardships to still go through, and they had to continue their fight to be an independent country. We all know how bad the German Nazis were, but an untold story in the West is how the Soviet Union and its communist ideology affected countries in which it tried to control throughout history. One of those countries being Poland, a land of complex history that still leaves me feeling like I know none of it. A story the West focuses on is teaching us German Nazi occupation in Poland and their atrocities associated with the regime, but fails to teach us the tried Sovietization of Poland and the controlling nature of the USSR. We share the story of Hitler, but fail to share Stalin's and the tragedies that happened even after his death. And while it's arguable to say that Nazi Germany was worse in terms of death and terror in Poland during World War II, the USSR strategically watched and waited for Poland to become demolished and then to take over what was left of Poland. Groups like Antifa in the US will proudly fly the red flag and promote their radical ideologies of being anti-fascist, all while acting like the same ideas they're fighting against. They love to fly the flag of the Soviet Union because Stalin was against Nazis and for socialism, but he himself killed millions of his own people and enslaved many more in his gulags. Any bit of disagreement with him and his affiliation, and you were off to work till you died in places like Siberia. And because he attacked Nazis doesn't mean he was on the right side of history. Many Russians will promote these ideas today, even knowing the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact was signed in order to take the land in Poland into two by the agreement of the Soviet Union in Nazi Germany. We probably aren't taught much about communism in the West because most of the stories are built on lies, from the past and to the present. One of those stories takes place in the USSR in Katyn. While Soviet occupation in Poland was in place to protect Poland from German Nazi invasion, there was another darker side that was not talked about, that being the Katyn Massacre. The Soviet army executed approximately 22,000 Polish military officials and officers in 1940. The Soviet army even used German weapons for their executions to easily blame the German Nazis for their crimes. The discovery of the massacre is another story of lies. The Polish government in exile and the Soviet government signed an agreement which announced the willingness of both to fight against Nazi Germany and for the allowance of a Polish army to be formed on the newly acquired Soviet territory. The Polish Prime Minister, Sikorski, was assured from Stalin that the Poles that were previously captured were freed and somehow the Soviet Union lost track of them after their liberation. But in the reality, they were executed in the Soviet Union. Three years after this tragic massacre, a German officer found out about the crimes taking place in Katyn, and while it was under Nazi German occupation, he brought this to the attention of his command, who then went on to bring this to the attention of Poland. When this was brought up to Stalin, Stalin denied what happened, and the Soviet Union never faced the truth of what happened. There is a long history of Soviet war crimes besides plunder, sexual assault, and murder. For the courageous Poles who were taking part in anti-Soviet activities and not accepting a forced Soviet citizenship, the NKVD arrested them and sent them east. Approximately 1.7 million Poles were displaced and forced inside trains like cattle and then sent to labor camps in Siberia and northern Kazakhstan. It didn't matter their age or sex, they all worked and they were forced to do labor in harsh conditions. Even pregnant women, children, and the elderly. Only a third of them survived the forced labor, starvation, and hardships of the weather. And with the rise of the Solidarity Movement in 1980, Poles wouldn't give up their efforts to defeat communism and rise up against those who were controlled by the Soviet Union. Even when martial law was enacted to stop the growing movement of Solidarity, Poles still protested even knowing unlawful arrests would happen. And with the fall of communism in an independent land, Poland is still standing. And with a country with a promising future, Poland lives on and they never gave up. And the Polish flag still stands.